Hi there folks, here we are again. Welcome to another video by the brilliant expat Tappy. What we're going to do here is carry on with a series I started off with, Expat Tappy Drains the Shell Swamp. Now for those who watched my videos recently, you know that I put out a challenge to every one of these NASA nutters. I told them, look, forget hiding behind fake IDs. Come out from behind these IDs, reveal your true identity, reveal your face, reveal your name, and let's have an amicable discussion as to whether these Apollo photos are fake or genuine and taken on the moon. Now, as you can see, I'm here. I find no problem with that challenge whatsoever. So why are all of you not afraid of it? So what I decided to do is to go along in a different route. I knew to play in my part, and you can decide whether you want to play your part. Refusing to play your part is just an admission of defeat. You've lost to the brilliant expat Tappy. You've been beaten. I have discovered six deliberate inserted whistleblower's clues, and one of them bloody hell. It's irrefutable evidence. Let's see how many of you claim it's paradoia. So, are you ready, Paul the Pratt? Watch for the next photo coming up, and I'm giving you two weeks to see if you can spot the deliberate inserted clues by the whistleblowers. Enjoy it, Paul the Pratt. Okay, Paul the Pratt, here's the photo for you today. AS 16-117-18825 Now, let's see you analyse this photo and convince all the viewers that it's genuine and taken on the moon. And here you are, Paul the Pratt, so that there's no arguments as to where the photo come from. I've inserted the link. You can see it's the Apollo Lunar Surface Journal. Go and download it if you want. But let's see you analyze this photo and provide six inserted whistleblower's clues. Either respond or admit you are a prat and the brilliant expat Taffy has won the day with you. Now, like I said, I will give you two weeks. After that, I will reveal the clues. And if you haven't responded, you'll just have to accept that you've been beaten by the brilliant expat Taffy and you are a prat, just as I branded you. 